Hello and welcome to video 30 here on the Minecraft FTW channel. It is here and as I was mentioning in the last video I need to get my quarry on the go again so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You can see the uh, frame from the last quarry is still kind of decaying so yeah I've decided it would be quite important to get this thing running again as soon as possible and you can just see there it will keep 10 chunks loaded pop up on the screen going to run around very quickly and pick up my uh, markers here one more up there and yeah, I've made a little bit of progress too uh, with the um, um, thingies. <laughs> no, seriously, I've made a bit of progress with the logistics pipes. So we will get to that in two seconds. So let me get the power connected up here. Like so. Got a pipe in place for this bad boy. An item teleporter. It won't be turned on just yet, so I'm not too fussed about how it looks or how it's set up or any of that kind of thing, so. That's bugging me. Get down! <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when blocks hang in the air like that for ages. It's so annoying. Anyway, um, that's those guys in place. I'm going to leave this chest here. Uh, I'm probably set up the filter a little differently this time, but for now, that will do. Let's go back and check on our logistics pipes. what's been done and what hasn't been done and you know all that kind of stuff so you can see here I've already started and I've just pushed these machines back here into the wall just for convenience and right up there you'll see a logistics pipe right under the chest this is just a regular stone pipe and then some logistics pipes down along here uh, now, of course, to interact with logistics pipes, you do need a wrench, which is exactly what I happen to have in my bag. And these are Mark II logistics pipes, by the way. Uh, we may actually end up changing that, but, you know, for these machines here, it uh, shouldn't be necessary. Because all we're really doing is uh, extracting the items. Uh, might change that, I don't know. Uh, power system here, you can see everything's red across the board apart from the connections, so that means they've got no power. And I made use of my ghost blocks again, just to hide the little kind of walkway back here, where I will be setting up the rest of the logistics pipes under the actual chests. So there's the. Mm, power block still full haven't used any of it uh, I have had a little test here just to make sure you know it works and all that kind of stuff and you know so far so good uh, you may have noticed in my inventory there I've started along the lines of uh, making some modules and that kind of thing just to kind of play around and see which one I'd need you know that kind of stuff so uh, here we are this one. So, yeah, these are Mark III logistics pipes because uh, when I set them up here, uh, they're going to need a extractor module uh, for if I'm remote ordering, you know. Um, what else? Uh, polymorphic item sync, and that just basically means whatever's in here and you don't know where to go in the network well send it to me because I have the same item here so kinda of like smart sorting or something I don't know but 
just basically means if there's one of me here, well then yeah, it's fine, send me down the rest of the uh, same item, without specifically stating, you know, uh, this goes here. So as long as there's one of the item that I want sorted in any of these chests, well then they'll get sorted. So that's the way I'm kind of working from it. Uh, the extractor module then, as I said, will be uh, used for pulling the items out. Or I'm not too sure if I'll actually need an extractor module to pull items out because I'll be putting in a provider uh, card. So I'll try both ways probably. But you know, that's a ways on. So anyway, as I said, welcome to video 30. As I said, this will probably be a slightly longer one and for real this time. like. Uh, I did put a good amount of stuff in here and I've let it run and run and run and run and run and I'm strongly thinking of putting two more lasers up there just because it's like so slow. So that's a quick update. Uh, give me a few minutes to get some stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, just very quickly going through the um, pipe setup here or the filter uh, and I'm basically saying everything that you see listed here void so that will get destroyed everything else yeah that's fine send it on through and we're gonna keep that uh, chest just you know uh, hanging around there for no particular purpose uh, I will eventually get rid of it but for now we need to set up our destination here which will be part of our logistics system so that's all set up, good to go. Everything else will land in here and then as a result of landing in here then we'll get sorted by the system. I may have to do it manually for a while but just until I get all of the items that I want on the go. I have to keep an eye on it every now and then but it should be fine once I set up the pipes down here for uh, smelting and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, I think I'm now in a good position to start her up. And that should not have any problem running and providing power. Except down in the room here we're in danger of blowing up the pipe here because yeah that's what I thought I need to get up there kind of pronto quick and turn that off there we go that'll do for now a uh, couple of bucks I kind of wish there was a way to... Did I pick that up? No. Where the heck did it go? What the... F I definitely broke the pipe. And I definitely didn't pick it up. So where the hell did it go? Hmm. That's a bit strange. Oh well. Maybe now. Nope, still only one in there. I don't know what happened there. Uh, that's a bit of a mystery. But I know I for sure broke it, but oh well. Anyway, um, it's not lying around here anywhere, so it's in my bag maybe? No. Oh well. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not going to blow up for now. So, power should be going through there quite well. I'm going to run back up there, have another quick look, just check out the quarry, make sure it's running, all that kind of stuff, and I'll be back. And I need some food. Okay, that's moving along at quite a nice pace. 
reasonably happy with that. No real clearing work to do either, so, you know, bonus. Uh, the fact that the water's here won't actually make any difference. Um, it won't affect the quarry running, as you can see when in a second there, when it gets a little bit further on. Yeah, I like that. It's moving at quite a pace, so I'm going to leave that running for... Pity we can't actually see the blocks properly render, but oh well. I'm not going to worry about it too much. For now, it's running. That's all that matters. Got some nom noms. And yeah, I'm not powering anything else with the teleport pipes, so yeah, we should be good to go. So I'm going to get myself into position now to start uh, placing these and making these uh, logistics pipes that we need for our network here. So yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just very quickly made three uh, chassis pipes. Mark three. Ten of those guys because that's how many chests we have. Let's get them in place. I'm not going to worry about power or any of that kind of stuff yet. But if we open up the interface here, you can see slots available for the module cards, such as a polymorphic. Now, as I said, polymorphic will literally say, you know, uh, if something's coming into the network here and you don't know where to go or you're not told where to go, if, you know, uh, I have just one bauxite ore in there, well then the rest of the bauxite ore in the system will end up here. <coughs> kind of cool. Uh, the other item we're going to need is a provider module. And you can tell it to include, exclude, uh, whatever items you put here. So normal uh, will literally allow everything to be pulled out of the chest. Uh, you can leave a stack of the item leave the last stack or the first and last and here's usually what I leave it on will be one item per stack so I'll never be able to put out a complete full stack of something that will always leave one of the item behind so that would be the preferred way of doing it or well that's my preferred way of doing it anyway so at least then something when you know comes into the network again uh, it can find its way to its appropriate destination in one of the chests. That's the logic behind it, so yeah. Might not be sound, but it works for me. <laughs> okay, what else do we need? Let's have a look. I will have to make up a whole bunch of not so much plans, but um, cards, extractor cards. The extractor modules will pull the items from the machines or the chests or whatever. So for example, this guy here, I can put him in there and say extract from the side, the top or the bottom. The default I think is the side, so that's essentially what it will be doing. Pull from there. Uh, I think I'll need something like mm, an item sync module and, you know, specifically tell it I want ore to go in here or, you know, uh, for the furnace here. Uh, set it up to say I want dusts coming in here. So, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'll get, like, most of those together. I have a good amount of dyes and all that kind of stuff there that I'll need, so probably end up making even more. Uh, I've got one item sync module in place and I need another nine, so yeah, that kind of thing. So I'll be busy for a bit and I'll be back. Okay, so I've already got one extractor module in place and I have four machines down there. It's a Mark II extractor module I have, so 
first need to make three more of these. I made a little plan for that as well, so that helps. And then an extractor mark two is uh, the extractor module with a redstone uh, gold chip set. So three of them, three of them. Thank you very much. And I have the nine polymorphic. I made a plan for that too. So let's go and put these bad boys in place first. First one's in place. There's the second one. Extract from the side, please. Thank you very much. Same for you. Extract from the side. And last but not least. Extract from the side. Awesome. So, that will pull the finished items out once they're complete. So now we need to tell uh, each machine here, or each pipe over each machine, more precisely, uh, what is being looked for. So, uh, it knows where to put the dusts and stuff. So, for that, I think it's an item sync module I'm going to need and set it up as the default route for dusts and ores and that kind of thing. So, uh, let me have a quick look here. Item sync. And that's a chipset, redstone, and some cactus. So, cactus. Whoops. Mm, no, that's not correct. Give me that. This, this, and one of them. And I'm going to make a plan for that too, just cause. Awesome. So, uh, we need four. One, two, three, four. And I'll show you what I mean now by assigning for want of a better word. Uh, which, what should go where. So, in here we can specify uh, all of the different ores. I will of course need to get my hands on the ore, but that shouldn't be a problem. And then same for each of these machines here, what they will and what they won't accept. done. Now I just need to put a quick sort module up there in that one. Can I get to that from here? No. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, quick sort module and what else? An extractor module. So we need one more extractor module. Uh, Mark 2 should do it. Yeah, Mark 2. Need one of those, please, and then one of those. Extractor Mark Two, awesome. And quick sort module is this one, and that requires a diamond chipset. Oh, booker! <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Do I have a diamond here in here by any chance? No, I didn't think so. Actually, there's a gold gear there. I don't mind spending four just to save me the bother of hooking this up again. And Well, you know, it's going to interfere with the quarry too, so I don't really want that. I want the quarry running full tilt for now. Just until we get this up and running. So, oops, wrong chest. One, two, three, four. Four of those, please. Thank you very much. And then just put him there and surround him. Oh, diamond gear. Awesome. So, diamond gear. Redstone and blue. Okay. We can do that. One of those. Three of these. Two of these, 
one of those. Oh, did I miss something? What did I miss? Oh, it's all blue all around. Okay. One quick sort. So, uh, just grab some dirt. Ah, actually, no, I don't need it. I can jump. <coughs> yeah, just like that. So, extract a module. Up the side. Quick sort module. Job done. Now, in order for all of this to kick off, of course, we need to provide some power. And providing it here because it won't uh, output from the top of the block, this part here is going to be messy. I'm not too sure what way I'm going to do that, but you know, I'll come up with something. Uh, let's go upstairs actually and have a quick look and see what exactly we have so far. Oh, okay, quite a lot of clay, even some wood, that's unusual saplings and some iron okay yeah, cool so that's running full tilt so yeah give me a few minutes what the hell just happened there I hope that went in there and it's an optical illusion I'm seeing there of the blocks floating through the floor because it would kind of suck if I was losing all of those blocks Anyway, right, okay, I'll keep an eye on it anyway, so be right back. Okay, so as I mentioned before, to connect up your logistics network, it wouldn't be practical to put down, you know, uh, logistics pipes everywhere. So, uh, I verified this earlier, just placing the logistics pipes. You can see that kind of sparkly effect there. Uh, means that the stone transport pipes will... Uh, how should we say, carry the power and items where they need to go, so awesome, this is what I came up with down the back here just to uh, get the initial power in I suppose uh, what I'm going to do about up here though is a completely different story, I'm not sure I think I may just like knock through to the wall here or something Mm, don't know, but I did go through each of the machines here. You can see I've specified what should land in here, and then equally here, what dust should land in here. So, yeah, we're on the way. We're not quite there yet. We're nearly, nearly set, but yeah. Another couple of minutes once I figure out what way I want this laid out, and yeah, we should be good to go. Okay, it's ugly as sin, but it works. Yay, we're on the way. So you can see all the fancy particle effects happening here. So any ores that are up there now currently are getting pulled down, dropped in here, getting extracted into here. And they'll get extracted then from the machine here. Or at least that's the plan. Extractor side. Why are they not extracting actually? Oh, because it's the wrong type of copper, that's probably why. But that's easily fixed. If I just grab one of those, whoops. That'll do. <laughs> and come over here to our ingots. And throw one of those guys in there. You'll see the rest of the ingots start flowing in here now in two seconds. There we go. We're on the way. Yay! So, we are now automatically harvesting uh, from the quarry our ores and then automatically smelting the ores and automatically storing the ores. How freaking sweet is that? Now, it does mean this thing will be going more or less constantly because it will put a drain on the power system here. Uh, not much of a drain, but you know, that's what those little particles flying all around the place mean. Um, it's using power, so yeah. As the ores come in there now, you should see them get extracted, but it doesn't look like 
we're currently hitting a lot of ore. Let's see what else is in the chest here. There shouldn't be anything left in the chest. Yeah. Okay, let's make a little hop up here. Oh, there is items in the chest. Okay, that's unusual. Wasn't expecting that. They should all find a way down to um, the relevant chests, but it doesn't look like they're doing that. Why is that, I wonder? Have I set this up? Quicksort and Extractor. Okay, and then that goes down there into the system. It goes back there into the chest. So yeah, they should actually all be going on their merry way, but they're not. And don't know why. Hmm. Give me a few minutes to figure this out. Okay, you guys were probably screaming at the screen, yeah. It didn't even take me a few minutes, it took me literally seconds. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't figured it out, I'll give you one quick look again. <coughs> yeah. I know. Face palm, all that kind of stuff, but yeah. They don't know where to go because they haven't been told. <laughs> oh well. There we go. So, by the time I finish doing this, that chest up there will be completely empty. Talk about derpiness, wow, seriously. This will now put an end to our chest clogging up, I hope. Problem. Whatever. Okay. Done and done. Let's go check it out. Whoops. Bit too keen. Oof. Uh, let's run upstairs instead. That's what we'll do. There we go. No. Oh, okay. What the heck? There's nowhere for wood to go because I haven't specified a location for it. So I will do that manually. Apples. I don't know. I think there is apples down there somewhere. I know I used all the flowers, so I'll take one flower. One piece of clay, one of these pieces of copper, one of these, one of these, and one of these. I'm pretty sure they've all been told where to go by now. But just a little bit of tweaking backwards and forwards here should get me on the way pretty quickly. So, for this bad boy here, I'll put a ghost of that in. That. That. And that. Hopefully there isn't much more. I don't think there is. And that should empty out the remainder of what's up in that. Chest up there. Everything else should flow through there, no problem. Um let me have a quick look here. What do I want down here? Yes, flower and wood. Plant materials, okay. So I just need to put a flower in there and then all the future flowers will end up there. And I could do the same for wood actually, because you know there's the rest of the flowers flowing in. Um, what was that that was left? Clay. Where do I want clay? Well, I suppose I'll put it in dusts. And now let's watch that arrive. Any second now. There we go. Yay! So, yeah. I think that will round out the video, guys. We're coming up on the half hour mark now already. 
So, oh, look at this. Ah, that's... Yeah, I know what the problem here is. Uh, the items are being requested or sent down here. Uh, they've nowhere to go, so... They kind of end up jumping out of the system here. But we can fix that. That's not a problem. Anyway, guys. Uh, that rounds out our logistics pipes setup for now. Mm, more to come in the next video. Next couple of videos, I would imagine, because we'll be uh, making extensive use of the uh, logistics pipe network here. I'll be setting up some more stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next.